You ready for this? I've never been more ready for anything in my whole life. You know I love you. No matter what happens. As always, we'll be getting that out to you right away. You're doing so good with the voice thing. Holla, 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 holla. Welcome, Power Caller. I hope you did not masturbate today. We need you sharp and ready to go. I'm gonna try to aim Pick this out. It's like they're stuck in a continuous mutation. Anything interesting in there? No. Fuck you, Pat. Fuck you. 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 Seriously, Chris, seriously, hold on. Hold on, seriously. No politics. Mom, mom, this isn't political. I just want to say it real quick, real quick. Seriously, Pat. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Shut the fuck up. Right now, with Game of Thrones gone, it has left a hole in the viewing pleasures of a lot of you guys out there who are trying to find something good to look at. And right now, I've got a list of the top six hidden gems you should find on Hulu, and we're going to discuss them one by one. But first, on this channel, we always put on our plus seven glasses of streaming sexy as hell because I'm working on skilling my craft, bringing you a more informed YouTube experience, something better to look at. Please subscribe to my channel, turn on my notifications so when we drop videos you get them. Go check out the Life Games Financial channel and also check out shoplifegames.com if you want to check out any of the gear I wear. Number one on the list is The Oath. It stars Tiffany Haddish, John Chu. The Oath follows a family with a vast variety of political opinions during one eventful evening on Thanksgiving. And basically, Tiffany Haddish is married to a white dude, and they go through their political leanings, and it kind of pokes fun at the Trump administration. I think you enjoyed that one. Number two on the Hulu list, If Bill Street Could Talk, an adaptation of the classic James Baldwin novel of the same name. It was directed by Barry Jenkins, a follow-up to the Oscar-winning film Moonlight. It revolves around a young man, a woman who tries to clear their name of her husband, wrongfully accused of rape before the birth of their child. Regina King took home the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her performance in this movie. Y'all know I love me some Regina King. That's one of my homegirls from 227. Mind Gap is next, directed by Ben Liu. The riveting 2018 documentary chronicles the friendship of three men in Illinois who are bonded by their love of one thing, skateboarding. The film was nominated in the Best Documentary Feature category at the 91st Academy Awards. I know nothing about that one. That's going to have to be one you guys check out on your own. Annihilation, a sci-fi thriller that started out on Netflix. Based on the Jeff Vandermeer novel of the same name, Annihilation stars Tessa Thompson, who used to be on my team and I kicked her off, Natalie Portman, Gina Rodriguez as a group of scientists who sign up for a dangerous mission into a quarantine zone where plants and animals mutate. Yeah, it's okay. I've seen that one. It's okay. Next on the list is Prince of Egypt, a treasure from the 90s. The Prince of Egypt chronicles the, Bi the biblical tale of Moses from his role as the Prince of Egypt. It is often regarded as one of the greatest animated films of the 90s. And I told my wife if they would make animated films about a lot of people in the Bible, maybe dramatize it a little bit, you would get more people interested in the Bible. She kind of laughed at me and tried to figure out how would you do it, but this obviously is a tale of that. Last on the list, Sorry to Bother You, the acclaimed directorial debut of Boots Riley. Sorry to Bother You stars Lakeith Stranfield as a black telemarketer who takes on a white accent to ascend to a higher standing at his workplace. A clever satire on the art of code switching. The film also stars Tessa Thompson, Stephen Young, and Army Hammer. I gotta check that one out. I didn't even know that was something to be watched, but sounds like it might be decent. Um, Tessa Thompson is a great actor, even though she's not on my girl team of Hollywood stars anymore. And uh, that's going to be another video I'll talk about why I kicked her off my team. But that might be something to check out. So those are your top six hidden gems you can find for all my Hulu subscribers out there. And let me know if you have seen any of these videos, um, any of these 
films. What did you think about them so that you can help people understand which one of these six is the best? That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself a life game, share my videos, check me out on all my YouTube channels, check out shoplifegames.com, and until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.